Hello again, welcome to my YouTube channel uh, dedicated to dive to educating people on endocrine diseases. During this time, we're going to have uh, the myths and facts on diabetes and I am Dr. Jerry Tan. What I'm going to do is to present to you another myth on diabetes, specifically regarding the fact that diabetes is in your genes and since it's in your genes, you cannot do something about it, but wait for it to come out. It is very important for you to understand that even if you have the genes, you have the power to prevent diabetes from developing. Very critical that you screen early. Early means before the age of 45. Those patients with a family history of diabetes, either of the parent is a diabetic, should be screened for diabetes. Those patients who got gestational diabetes, where their blood glucose has started to go up during pregnancy, puts them at higher risk of developing diabetes later on in life. If you were born nine pounder or big, means that your mother was already diabetic when she was pregnant. This then puts you at high risk of developing diabetes. But one very important risk factor that you can do something about is if you're overweight and obese. Because any excess fat puts your liver and pancreas at overtime work. It is therefore very critical for you to understand that a healthy lifestyle can help you prevent these genes of diabetes from manifesting. So here are my simple tips. First, Please make sure you discuss with your primary care physician regarding the proper diabetes nutrition therapy. It's basically the excess calories that you put in, specifically excess carbs, that are then converted into sugar and fat. Fat is then deposited in the liver and the pancreas and is manifested as an abdominal obesity. So the bigger your belly is, the bigger fat is there in the liver and the pancreas, and this therefore puts your pancreas at overtime work. Whether you're going to do something about it in terms of changing the way you eat, either through intermittent fasting or a low carb diet, you can discuss with your physician whatever works for you as long as you can do it long term. Daily physical activity is also very critical because I've see, uh, discussed with you in video two that physical activity will increase the number of receptors for insulin, and therefore this will help your pancreas lessen its workload. But what's very critical that you can do something about it for year 2020 is of course the avoidance of stress at workplace, and if you can prevent from having what we call as a sleep debt. Enough sleep is very critical. Our recommendation is patients should have at least seven hours of deep sleep. If you lack sleep, your body is stressed. If your body is stressed, you produce stress hormones. And these hormones will then prevent insulin from working better. As a result, you then overwork your pancreas to produce more insulin. So these are some simple measures that can help you prevent yourself from these genes from manifesting. Because for me, genes load the gun. It's the environment that pulls the trigger. So if you like my videos, and if you have any other videos or disease uh, information that you want me to present in my channel, please feel free to message me. And please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my uh, YouTube channel so you'll be updated if there will be no new more, more new videos to come. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank again to all those who have subscribed. Thank you very much. You keep me going and you keep me motivated to do more videos like this. And I hope each one of you who has listened to my videos have learned one or two and please share it to your friends. Thank you very much.